So Philip, I saw a bulletin in the Shaft Squad email newsletter in regards to corrosion on coils for Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge vehicles, mm -hmm. causing issues like misfire codes mm -hmm. and then just overall poor fuel efficiency. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? Yeah, well the original coil design on these um, Hemi engines where you have the dual spark plug output on these and what shops love when cars like this come in because we're talking about multiple spark plugs we're replacing here. So when it comes to the corrosion buildup that occurs uh, on the secondary output of these two terminals, uh, there's been an upgrade uh, so that uh, that corrosion would not exist and we're using different materials in order to uh, make sure that that doesn't occur. So that uh, when you troubleshoot what the problem is and replacing the spark plugs and the coils, you know that you're putting in a replacement option where you're not going to get that same type of corrosion. And where does the corrosion occur? Is it between the springs or the, the spark plug and yeah, the coil? Yeah, it's just at that point, and I don't want to rip this apart, but it's right at that base of the point where between where the spring will meet, the base of the secondary output terminal. Uh, so at that point is where that corrosion builds up. And that bulletin in the email newsletter had these pictures in it. Yes. And these are pretty dramatic. Here's one at 20x magnification. Yes. Here it is again at 50. Exactly. Amazing. Exactly. Exactly. So that's what we try to do is think ahead of the curve and make sure that the replacement part meets the need of what's originally happening on the vehicle. Let's look at those same magnified photos on the NGK 5121. Mm -hmm. And let's, what are we, we're seeing here is that this is, this is bronze. Right. Yeah. So the, the, the switch in the type of materials that we're using will be more resistive of actually getting corroded. So what's happening with that corrosion between the spark plug and the coil? Is it just basically the secondary is not burning with enough? Oh, uh, if I was to say that, I'll be lying. But as we know, in a car, as corrosion build up in the various temperatures, uh, it ranges that underneath the hood has to, and the condensation build up, it, it could just have a domino effect of a chain reaction. But the end result is we don't want corrosion. We yeah. don't want any of that. So if we can make a switch and a change of the type of materials that we're using to avoid that, we're going to do so. Hey, that's great advice, Philip, especially with uh, guys having to track down, you know, poor running conditions. I mean, this is something you wouldn't expect, corrosion on yeah. a coil. Right. Yeah, but you guys exactly. think of everything. Yeah, we try. Well, thank you, Philip, very much. All right, great.